Eggs and plastic bottles have been thrown at Tony Blair as he arrived at a bookshop in Dublin to sign copies of his memoirs. He wasn't hit. Scuffles broke out as police struggled to hold back a crowd of about 200 anti-war demonstrators. Tony Blair arrived at the bookstore in Dublin with minders using umbrellas to protect him from missiles, including shoes and eggs, none of which hit him. Inside, he apologised for the disruption. There were between one and two hundred protesters, held back behind barricades and outnumbered by the police. They shouted anti-war slogans, calling Tony Blair a war criminal. Inside the store, the former Prime Minister seemed unruffled by his reception. He greeted staff and posed for photographs with his new book, his memoirs called A Journey. Last night, Tony Blair was promoting his book on Ireland's most popular chat show. He defended his handling of the Iraq war, and he hoped that the Middle East peace process would work, just like in Northern Ireland. The interview also got personal, as Mr Blair was asked about Gordon Brown. Do you like him now? As, uh, of course I, 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 I like him. Do you consider him. him a friend? Absolutely, but we disagree. Would you go for a pint with him? Probably. Um, but, that was uh, a big pause now for you, Tony uh, Blair. I was, it's... it's you know, when you work with someone that closely for about 25 years, you know them extremely well. You, I, there's many things I admire about Gordon. Okay. We had a disagreement about policy in the end. As Tony Blair was signing books inside the store in Dublin, with no personal messages or private photographs allowed, the demonstration outside continued. Richard Slee, BBC News. Tony Blair's received a hostile reception from protesters during an appearance in Dublin to sign copies of his memoirs. One anti-war activist attempted to make a citizen's arrest on the former Prime Minister, citing alleged war crimes. Other demonstrators threw eggs and shoes at Mr Blair, but none of the missiles actually hit him. Police say they made a small number of arrests. While David Blevins is in Dublin. If today's scenes here in Dublin are any indication, it's going to be quite the book tour for the former Prime Minister. There were angry clashes between Stop the War protesters and police as Tony Blair arrived in the city's main street to sign copies of his book. Those protesters fired all sorts of makeshift missiles, shoes and eggs, but none of them hit uh, Tony Blair. Despite that, one of the protesters does appear to have come remarkably close even regardless of the security measures that were in place. Katie O'Sullivan tells us that she attempted to make a citizen's arrest, citing war crimes. Well, as soon as I got up there and I met, he was running right in front of me, I said, Mr Tony Blair, I'm here to make a citizen's arrest you for war crimes. I didn't get to say very much else because I was immediately grabbed by five security men and dragged away. I cried out there was half, at least half a million dead in Iraq. Um, you were broken the fourth Geneva Convention, that means you were a war criminal. And that was all I got to say to them. They wouldn't leave me any, wouldn't even stop. I couldn't resist because there's five people there, you know. Now the obvious question has got to be, why does a former British Prime Minister choose to launch his book tour in the Irish capital? His people say it was simply a question of scheduling. But the cynic might suggest that he is attempting to shift the focus from the war in Iraq to the political settlement in Northern Ireland. If that's what he was attempting to do today, then it has backfired spectacularly because all of the news headlines will be about those anti-war protests.